Shut down. In a long interview, speaking in a soft and almost apologetic tone, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah explains why he's pushing for a unity government that he hopes will end public opposition to his policies. But he's in no hurry to release the kidnapped Israeli soldiers. Nasrallah also accused the Lebanese government of trying to provoke civil war. He said Hezbollah has recovered from the war with Israel. Lebanon is going through a serious crisis. Nasrallah threatens to bring down the government of Prime Minister Fouad Signora, but if it falls, that could mean the re-emergence of Syria as a major power broker in Lebanese politics. بلش خطابه انه نحن كنا بالجهه الثانيه مع العدو الاسرائيلي هذا كلام يعني ما بعرف كيف بده يصير في تشاور وجاي واحد يخونك Support for the Hezbollah leader is fading among most Lebanese, but the celebrated Arab singer Haifa Wahabi, who fled from Lebanon at the beginning of the war, has thrown her influence behind Nasrallah. كان إلو سيد حسن نصرالله دور الكبير مش بالحرب وبالدفاع عن شرف وحدود لبنان بوقت كانت كتير دول مش واقفة مع لبنان. In the wake of the war with Israel, the Lebanese, just like the Israelis, are being forced to investigate their own failures.